Hello viewers, welcome to my channel and uh, today's topic is superficial thrombo uh, uh, phlebitis, you know. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. You know? And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesintreatment.com. I know I come to the topic what is superficial thrombo uh, phlebitis, you know. You know, it's uh, an inflammatory condition of the veins due to uh, blood clot just below the surface of the skin, you know. And uh, it's usually, it occurs in the legs, but it can occasionally occur in the arms and uh, neck as well, you know. And anyone can develop this superficial thrombo phlebitis, you know but females are affected more than uh, males. And uh, that says what are the symptoms? Well, this may include like redness or uh, inflammation of the skin uh, along the vein, you know, or warmth of the skin and tissue around the vein, you know, and tenderness and pain that worsens with uh, added pressure, you know, and pain in the limbs, you know and darkening of the skin over the vein and hardening of the veins. So these are the common symptoms. And uh, you should see your doctor if uh, you have these symptoms and if they get worse, you know, and uh, you develop new symptoms such as the fever or chills, you know, which are a sign of infection, you know. And this could be a sign of uh, more serious illness or maybe condition, you know. So if you have these symptoms, uh, don't ignore them. Uh, just consult your doctor as soon as possible. And the risk factors uh, I may include like recent IV or catheter or injection into the vein, you know, and maybe sitting or lying down for too long, okay, like long haul flights, you know, or maybe varicose veins or pregnancy or infection and uh, obesity, contraceptives, being over the age of 60, you know, chemical irritation such as uh, from the cancer treatments or a stroke or injury which is caused by the paralysis of the arms or the legs, you know, so these are the multiple risk factors which can increase the risk of uh, a superficial thrombophilitis, you know. And uh, it's also associated with more serious medical conditions including a deep vein thrombosis or cancer of the abdomen or the pancreatic cancer, you know, and uh, 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 other conditions like a, uh, a thromboangiitis, you know, uh, upturns, which is the blockage of the blood vessels uh, in the hands and in the feet, you know. and uh, Several uh, very rare conditions that can also cause uh, this condition that may include like uh, protein S deficiency or protein C deficiency or maybe uh, 83 deficiency, you know. So these are the rare conditions that can uh, cause this condition, you know. Now next thing is how do doctors diagnose that someone is suffering from the superficial thrombophilipitis, you know. Mm. You know, your doctor will examine the affected area and will ask the questions and he will perform the physical and visual examination, you know. And uh, he will check your pulse, blood pressure, uh, blood flow, temperature. And uh, he may perform the tests like the Doppler ultrasound of that area, you know, or maybe the duplex ultrasound, you know, to see uh, uh, the, like, uh, the abnormalities in that area, you know. And uh, then another test is known as venography, you know. And uh, this is rarely used, but uh, it's a type of X-ray images that uh, is used to see the blood flow by, inject by injecting a, like a, a special dye to the veins, you know. And then for the further evaluation, CD scan and MRI may be used, you know. And uh, skin or the blood culture, uh, the complete tests may also be advised and uh, a skin biopsy may be needed if uh, needed, you know. And once diagnosed then uh, the treatment options may include like uh, sometimes it, you may not need any treatment, you know. And uh, there are some home remedies which are helpful, you know, like warm compresses, etc., you know, or uh, elevating uh, the leg to relieve the swelling and warning uh, like uh, 
uh, sports stockings, you know, so they're helpful. And over the counter medications like uh, non steroid and anti inflammatory drugs, so like ibuprofen or aspirin, you know, they can help to reduce the redness and the irritation which is caused by the inflammation. And uh, this condition usually goes away within two weeks, but it can take longer for the hardness in your vein to subside, you know. And in rare cases or maybe serious cases, the removal of the or the stripping of the vein is necessary. And this is more common in, uh, if you have like very coarse veins, you know. And uh, you know, it's generally short-term condition and uh, without any complications. And most of the time, you may not need any treatment, you know. And it will get better. You will get better on its own, you know. Uh, but sometimes uh, there are some complications like cellulitis or maybe deep vein thrombosis they can occur you know uh, apart from this there are no long lasting complications uh, and the other question is like uh, is it possible to prevent this you know well it's limited you know but there are some steps that you can take like uh, if the intravenous loin is causing it, remove or change the location of the IV, you know, IV loin, you know, and uh, uh, when traveling uh, in the aeroplane for a long time, you know, just keep your limbs moving, you know, like uh, don't sit for too long, you know. So this way you can lower the risk of uh, uh, getting this disease. You know? Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and goodbye.